Okay, so I stumble upon this guy named Desert File. Okay, he he's a goddamn Australian and thinks he knows everything about fucking climate change, but he's, you know, he's down under, which tells you he's, you know, okay. This guy's not educated, man. Not educated whatsoever. I explained to him that climate change is brought on by solar maximum, okay, radioactive force from the sun, okay, plays a part in changing the climate. Actually, no! Solar variation has absolutely no effect on Earth's climate. Orbital isolation due to celestial mechanics does, but hey, I'm uneducated. Note one down below. We have the solar maximums every 13 years. You mean every 11 years. See note two. But hey, I'm uneducated. Okay, so of course the climate on Earth is going to change by a few degrees. It's a fact. No, solar variation has absolutely no effect on Earth's global average temperature. Milankovitch cycles, however, do approximately every 26,000 years which is what causes climate change until humans started putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Then climate change changed. But then I'm uneducated. Oops, scene note three below. Okay, hence the solar maximum dies out, the planet will cool. You're a good dog, but you're a pain in the ass. No. So here we are uh, with the uh, UN IPCC. De uh, they uh, retracted a story that said that their climate change theories were all correct and that they uh, all their data was right. But then they retracted the story when it was uh, brought up about the fact of the sun forcing from so maximum that changes the climate on Earth. And they had to retract their story because they didn't do the data on sun forcing or radioactive forcing from the sun. You are asserting, without any evidence at all, that over 35,000 scientists in 85 countries just somehow forgot there's a sun up there? You are claiming that? I already made a video about this. The second order draft of the Assessment Report 5 from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says the exact opposite of what you denialist shitards say it says. C. Note. 5 down below. Okay. The sun plays a major part in our climate. But no scientists out there said otherwise. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has always said that. They will always say that. You want to read Assessment Report 4? I've got links down there in this video's description. Notes 5 and 6, I believe. 5 and 6. Yes. It says the sun is driving the climate on the planet. They don't say otherwise. The second draft of the Assessment Report 5 says that also. And you want us to believe that all these climatologists just somehow forgot there's a sun up there. <sighs> the issue is not Earth's climate. The issue is climate change happening right now. The issue is not about climate that changed 400,000 years ago, 40,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago. Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is assessing the science on human-caused climate change. Solar variation had, had and has absolutely nothing at all to do with the current global temperature anomaly. Why 
because if the sun wasn't there, we would not exist. This is a true fact. And you want people to believe that all of the scientists that worked on assessment report 5 didn't mention that. Do we get it? The sun plays a, the major role in heating the earth. Yes, but it has absolutely nothing at all to do with climate change over the past few million years. Climate change. Climate change. Now, all these climate change people, oh, the last 16 years data. Well, of course it's heating up. It's a solar maximum. Uh, no. Solar maximums do not heat up the planet. Solar variation has nothing at all to do with climate change. You goddamn retards. Duh. Do you not realize that the sun reaches a solar maximum? Yes, and the IPCC said so. See notes 4, 5, and 6. A solar peak where it's blasting off CMEs left and right in our direction. The ra radioactive forcing is what it's called. Okay. Radioactive forcing. Pardon me, I realize I'm uneducated, but isn't it radiative forcing? Creates climate warming on Earth. No, it doesn't. And I'm going to put the data and the charts at the end of this video, and I will demonstrate that it doesn't. I also have links to the data down below, but more on that later. It's a fact. When the maximum cools down, the Earth cools down. No, it doesn't. Which is why you have fluctuation in temperature. Duh! Down under people. You don't know nothing about fucking climate change. Now, I've debunked this desert file because his charts he pulls out of his asshole. He doesn't get his information from the IPCC, which is in charge of all the stats on climate change. I've been... debunked? No! I've been debunked! Lies! It's not worth living anymore! Contrary to what YouTube user Hellwater Fire would have us believe, Assessment Report 5, the second order draft from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, did look at solar weather, that is, radiative forcing from the sun. They concluded that overall the radiative forcing was negative 0.04 plus or minus 0.02 watts per square meter. And I will actually show that data later. This is smack dab in the report. Chapter 8, page 4, stating it's not there is irrational. The following three charts show total solar irradiance for 33 years. Since two data sets were used, I had to normalize the second data set by 4.989 watts per square meter. The combined two data sets therefore show three solar maximum cycles and three solar minimum cycles. The average total solar irradiance value is 1,366 watts per square meter at one astronomical unit. And finally, the payoff chart. The blue line shows for the past 33 years the total solar irradiance data with the scale on the left. The pink line shows the global temperature anomaly for the past 33 years with a scale on the right. The yellow line shows the linear trend for the total solar irradiance data, and you can see that negative 0.04 watts per square meter that the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change mentioned in their second order draft 
Assessment Report 5. The red line shows the trend for the global temperature anomaly for the past 33 years. As we can see, global temperature has increased very sharply while total solar irradiance has remained the same. The data show conclusively that solar variability is not driving the current global temperature anomaly. <laughs> no, I have to cut my... Fucking A. <laughs> no, I have to cut myself! <laughs>